Hi, my name is John Givens, and today we're going to look at manipulation, as in a high velocity thrust, which is an osteopathic or chiropractic technique for the C1 on a C2, which is known as the AA joint. When we come to assess it, then typically we can actually rotate to see how far we can rotate left and right. And her neck is a bit stiff, but it doesn't really test the AA joint. It will just test rotation of the cervical spine. So if we were able to flex the patient, relax, flex the patient, when I say flex, I probably would flex about 30 degrees and then slowly start to rotate. If we can't rotate very far left and right, and you can see there's a block in, then potentially that's the C1 on the C2. So you think about this uh, atlas and it sits on the axis and then it's the pivot joint here. And then it's considered that when you rotate the neck, you have 80 degrees of motion and 50% of the motion, i.e. 40 degrees, will come from C1 rotating on C2. If you happen to learn the technique, then the way I do it, I come onto the articular pillar here, and then the technique is using my MCP joint, and then the thrust would be towards the opposite eye. Now, to be safe, I would be in flexion, and I would slowly come onto that area, and I'm slowly side bending down to the level, then I'm going to slowly start to rotate away here. She already binds quite quick. Not every patient will bind this quick, but she seems to bind quite quick here. So I'm just going to feel the lock there. I know it's a little tender on her neck. And then the thrust, be careful with your thumb here. The thrust is going to be towards the opposite eye. And you have to be so fast, but the distance has to be so small. So it's called a HVT, which is a high velocity thrust with a, a low amplitude. So let me just see if I can cavitate this joint without irritating this neck. So we're going to side bend and start to rotate and then there's the bind there. So I'm just going to just gently try to move that neck. And I tried to do a very fast technique on that one. You okay? You okay? Yeah. Yeah. That was really stuck. That was really stuck. Really stuck the worst I've ever been stuck. Yeah, that was really stuck there. And she did say it was a little tender. Um, but on a positive, the joint moves quite well there. Um, now, I am just going to have a look at this right side. So we see how we get on this one. So I'm just going to slowly side bend. And then again, this side is jammed as well. So from there, there's the lock. Not so stuck, but I'm just going to just gently... Oh my God, just go over this. Okay, okay. That was particularly stiff, okay, on her neck. Um, so it's probably one of the stiffest I've treated. So let me just feel the movement. But um, because it's been stuck for a while, I hope that uh, she has improvement quite quick in there. But the, you know, the skill, sometimes, you know, it's hard because I've done all, maybe over 100,000 of these necks. And it's very rare for a patient to have discomfort, but now and again, because if it's been stuck, you know, they should see someone where they are pretty confident and competent under what they do. The last thing you'd want to do is, is manipulate neck. You're not really sure what's going on. So um, hopefully, you know, with my skill level, yeah, it'll be fine. But obviously now and again, the patient will feel a, a little bit of discomfort, but that's not the goal. The goal is to move it without the patient feeling too much. And I hope within a, a short period of time, she'll be, she'll be fine. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, a bit nerve-wracking, I think, for myself and the, and the patient in this case. But um, if you like what you see, then maybe uh, if you can subscribe and, uh, and you'll see all my videos because you'll automatically get them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.